Mr. President, uh, about a week ago, the President Pro Tem of the Senate and the Speaker of the House stood up at a press conference and said, any bill with new spending is going to be dead on arrival. They took what I thought was a courageous stand to say that any new spending bill we're going to have, we're not going to consider. Why? Because of exactly what Senator Harp said, is we are in for a massive, massive deficit in FY09. And I don't think we know how large it's going to be yet. 600 million, 800 million, a billion dollars. It is going to be huge. And then the next biennium, we know it's at least six billion dollars, and that's probably going to get worse as well. Well, Mr. President, tonight in this bill, Section 33 appropriates new money that we haven't considered, money that hasn't gone through the committee process, and money that we can't afford right now. No matter how noble the goal, and I think it's a well-intentioned goal, we cannot afford to be spending any money on new programs right now. When we're talking about union concessions, when we are talking about cutting other programs elsewhere in this deficit mitigation package that are worthwhile, we cannot be adding on new money. I agree with the speaker and the president pro tem from that press conference. If there is any new spending, let's make it DOA or else we're going to have a lot of those bills coming forward that we just can't afford. Mr. President, there's another issue with Section 33 that I'd just like to highlight, and it's more of a philosophical issue. We've talked a lot in this circle about clean contracting, and we've talked about the idea of having transparency and making sure that people or companies that when they bid, there is no preferential treatment. By doing this tonight, we are actually giving preferential treatment to the company that won that bid. Because when they made that bid, they made that bid with the assumption that whatever health care they were going to offer their workers was implicit in that bid. We are now saying, okay, well, we're going to give you a little something extra that none of the other bidders knew they were going to get. This actually undermines the clean contracting that we're trying to promote by rewarding a contractor after the fact. So although, Mr. President, I think it's a secondary consideration to the fact that we just don't have any money, I think it's important to note that Section 33 of the bill goes against much of what we've tried to do in this circle. So Mr. President, I would encourage us to stand together in a bipartisan way to follow what the speaker and the president pro tem said. Let us have no new spending bills in this session. Thank you, Mr. President. Thank you.